Hi, I'm uh, Daniel Shaw, and I interviewed uh, John Strauss for this uh, project. He has a bachelor's in biology and a master's in microbiology. Uh, a little bit about his background. He was born in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, when he was about three, he moved to Juneau, Wisconsin, which is like a small town, about 2,000 students. He was involved in sports in high school. Um, he said he was pretty active in the community. Uh, his father was a World War II veteran and actually went to college before being sent off to World War II and then came back and uh, trained to be a large animal veterinarian, which is like pretty much he did work on farm animals, mostly cows, uh, and his mother helped him out with his practice, uh, pretty much ran the books, arranged everything. Um, so he came into Oshkosh in 1967 as a biology major and he said his only reason to come here was that he was chasing chasing a blonde girl and there was no other reason that he could give me for coming here so I guess better reason than any um, he had plans to go on to med school uh, he said he'd always been like a B student but never really uh, got better grades than like B's and C's when he came to college um, he soon learned that uh, he would have to get better grades than B's to get into med school. And he learned that as he was like a second year senior year uh, when he finally went to go see an advisor for the first time. Uh, at the time, there was a large influx of students. He actually lived in East Hall. I think we talked about it in here. And uh, so he lived in that hall and he said there was like a bar a block down that they went four or five nights out of the week to drink. And he soon learned that that probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, at the end of his freshman year, he became a residence assistant. And uh, I guess he replaced a previous one that like had conflicts with some of the students. And so he replaced him. And he was a part of reunion board. Uh, he was also on campus his sophomore year when the Black Thursday protests happened. And he said he didn't really witness uh, much of the protesting, but I guess school got out like two days earlier because of it, and they soon uh, figured out that that was because the school was expelling students, um, and they were busy with that. But he said he did witness part of the Vietnam protest that was right across from, I think, Nelson Hall that he said he lived in, which is where Horizon is right now. and. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, he, was, he talked about the burning barricades down by Clo and then right across from Nelson. And uh, here's a little audio clip about his stance on that. Uh, some of the residents of Nelson and people like me weren't all that excited about the war, but we really didn't think that burning up whatever they were burning on the barricades across Algoma was the best way to show that. So we would sneak out and steal their tools while they were at the other bonfire hide him in the basement of the hall. So yeah, he wasn't really for the whole uh, <coughs> protesting in a physical way. He said he would have protested with placards and all that, but he didn't really agree with tearing up of the road. Um, so he came back in 19, or he graduated in 72, came back in 74 for uh, his master's. And you see it took him a little bit of a, a while to finish his master's here. But that was because uh, he was working uh, in Milwaukee uh, in the hospital there. And uh, he eventually started working in the Mercy Hospital in Oshkosh here. And as he was doing that, he uh, finished his master's. Uh, Can you get back to your final point? Mm -hmm. In uh, 1978, he became certified as a medical technologist. And he's still on campus here as a uh, medical technology program director where he was hired in 1991.